In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on August 14, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Pittsburgh Pirates vs. San Francisco Giants The Giants have won two in a row and look to complete the sweep hosting the Pirates on Sunday afternoon. The Pirates have lost three in a row and they only have two wins in their last nine games. They do not rank in the top 25 in baseball and run scored and team earned run average, which is why they have the third fewest wins in the National League. The streaky Giants have won the first two games of this series and are 5-5 five five in their last 10 games. They have fallen off course in the last couple of months and are now under .500 and 23.5 games out of first place in the National League West. The Diamondbacks are 33-76 in their last 109 versus National League West and are 11-29 in their last 40 Sunday games. The Diamondbacks are also 21-58 in their last 79 road games versus a right-handed starter. The Rockies are 41-17 in their last 58 home games versus a team with a losing record. The Rockies should get the win here to make up for the lost Diamondbacks are 2-10 in the last 12 meetings in Colorado and are 3 to seven in the last 10 meetings. The Giants have won the first two games of this series and have won four of their last five facing the Pirates. Overall, the team has had legit pitching in the two games, giving up three runs, and that will continue. Wu was great in his last start and look for him to fare well in this one. He will be facing a Pittsburgh team that ranks 28th in the majors and runs scored and was shut out in the last game. The Bucks have struggled overall and against lefties this season and in their last five games they are only batting .222. Wu had a rough start versus the Dodgers back on August 2nd with six earned on nine hits and a walk in 5.1 innings total. In two of his last three games, however, Wood has done well with a combined two earned in 13 innings across a pair of wins. Thompson has given up five earned over his last nine frames and is 0-2 in his last three games. The San Francisco lineup will get a few runs and that is all they will need beating the Pirates and completing the series sweep. The Giants should have a reasonable advantage here once again. So the San Francisco Giants' money line is our full game side pick. The Pittsburgh lineup has a grand total of three runs in losing the first two games of this series. They will not get much in this one facing Wood, who has been solid at home and coming off an outing not giving up any runs. Thompson will not get crushed, as even with a high earned run average he has not been bad on the road this season. Neither team has been tagging it up at the dish as of late. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Minnesota Twins vs. Los Angeles Angels The Minnesota Twins close out their first series meeting with the Los Angeles Angels in Sunday's finale of the three-game meeting. Road struggles have been a common occurrence for the Twins this season, but then again, Angel Stadium hasn't necessarily been a place of refuge for the struggling Halos. Tucker Davidson gets the nod to start at pitcher for the Angels against Twins starting righty Chris Archer. The Angels came at a good time in the Twins' schedule as Minnesota surrendered first place in the American League Central and are looking to reclaim that top spot. Minnesota is also on the outside of the wild card looking in by a half game. Urgency is getting higher and higher in the Twins' clubhouse as they sit outside of the playoffs with 50 games remaining. The Twins playing with added urgency gives the Angels an uphill battle in this one. The Angels are just playing a bad team and enter Saturday 2-9 in their last 11 games at home including being shut out by Minnesota in the series opener on Friday. The Twins lineup has a statistical advantage per game over the Angels in at-bats runs, hits, home runs, doubles, RBI, walks, strikeouts, total bases, batting average, slugging, OBP, and OPS. Against common opponents, the Twins are 42-39 and the Angels are 42-54. In a game with a couple of struggling starting pitchers, it may come down to run production as opposed to run prevention. In that case, the Angels just don't have the offensive firepower to keep up with the Twins. Not to say Minnesota is a juggernaut, but their right-handed heavy lineup gets to face a young left-handed starter that has not yet found his footing in the big leagues. Chris Archer is 0-2 with a 3 point 
4.96 earned run average in nine road starts this season, while Tucker Davidson is 0-2 with a 9.58 home earned run average in three games so far. Batting average of balls in play will tell us the difference of how talented a team is as Minnesota is 12th in MLB with a .294 BIA BIP, while Los Angeles is 22nd in the sport with a .283 BIA BIP so far. The Twins have won five of the last seven games played in Angel Stadium. The Twins are the all-around better team as they are playing with added urgency. They should take care of business just fine today. So the Minnesota Twins' money line is our full game side pick. Tucker Davidson gave up six earned runs in only four innings the last time he was on the mound for the Angels. The former Atlanta Braves pitcher is still settling in with his new team, and Sunday's game will be his first start at Angel Stadium. It's a tough spot to be in against a Twins team that has been a monster on the road. Minnesota's batting lineup is averaging 4.93 runs per game when they're the visiting team which only sits behind the Los Angeles Dodgers and New York Yankees. That's very good company to keep for a Twins team that'll make life miserable for Los Angeles pitchers. Chris Archer continues to be hit or miss, and he's been missing lately, with 14 runs allowed in his last 17 innings. Tucker Davidson has allowed 21 hits and 17 runs in 19.1 innings this season. The Los Angeles Angels offense has also picked up over the last week. Two subpar at best pitchers and a reasonable total for sure here today. Over the projected total is our our full game total pick. New York Yankees vs. Boston Red Sox The Boston Red Sox hope to send the New York Yankees packing with another loss in Sunday's series finale of the ensuing American League East Divisional Tilt. It has been a rocky run for a banged-up Yankees team still looking to reverse their offensive fortunes. Perhaps they can find hope in a matchup pitting starting right-handed pitcher Jameson Talon against Boston's Michael Wacha. Jameson Talon looks like he is beginning to turn the corner while Michael Wacha is coming off an injury that sidelined him from the big leagues for almost six weeks. The Yankees have been scoring a bit more as of late as they are averaging 4.54 runs per game in their last 13 games while the Red Sox are scoring 4 runs per game in their previous 14 games. Throughout the month of August so far, New York is 16th in the sport with a 4.1 team earned run average while Boston is 27th in the majors with a 4.93 team earned run average so far. The Yankees lost the series opener but bounced back in the second game and are able to close out the series in the finale. The Yankees offense is one of the best in the league behind superstar outfielder Aaron Judge who leads the league in home runs and RBI. Plus, while Michael Wacha was having the best season of his career, his injury is impactful to his momentum and the Yankees will get to him early. New York has the advantage in this matchup, so the New York Yankees' money line is our full game side pick. Jameson Talon has pitched to a 5.4 earned run average in his previous seven starts while Michael Wacha is coming off a rehab assignment so he can struggle against MLB hitters. Both teams have been scoring pretty well since the All-Star break as New York is averaging 4.5 runs per game in their 22 games since then while Boston is scoring 3.77 runs per game in their 22 games as well. The offensive explosions have been held to a minimum in this series featuring two longtime MLB rivals. However, I'm expecting things to open up a bit in the finale with Michael Wacha making his long-awaited return to the mound. Things have been quiet in Yankee land, perhaps too quiet. It's only a matter of time before Aaron Judge and company start cracking bats, and this will be that game in a successful effort to play spoiler to Wacha's big night. The Yankees are averaging 5.25 runs per game this season. They won't stay quiet for much longer. I'm grabbing some popcorn for this one, folks. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.